you are Filipino, if your mother is Filipina, if your father is Filipino, if you are from Pinas, if you have one drop of Filipino blood, you are Filipino if you are Chinese but are from the Philippines, or if you're only one half or one third or any one fraction and your last name is Tan, Ong, or Chua, and you constitute the less than 1% of the native population who control more than 50% of the national commerce. You are Filipino even if you deny it because your parents or theirs or theirs are Espanol Manga Castilla who settled in La Islas Filipinas, named once after your king. My father too is named Felipe from tall, bug-eyed meles with high noses and wavy hair. I don't know how many generations they've been on these arbitrary islands that define us, maybe before Biak Nabato broke in half, or at least before Bernard Carpio pushed his handprints deep into the flat surfaces to separate the broken boulder. The jungle has grown into the hollows. You are Filipino if you are descended from the children of the Spanish friars, priests, and other unholy men. You are Filipino if your mother was an American-based hostess and your eyes are green or any shade lighter than black, really. And your last name is Murphy, Sullivan, or Brown. You are Filipino. It doesn't matter if you've been whitewashed by blood or culture, so bleached out you don't think twice about blue contact lenses, affirmative action, or ski trips to Utah, and you sleep well at night with all the alien consonants in your mouth. You are Filipino if you are Black because your mother or your father or both is from America of an African ancestry, or your mother or your father or both is Negrito, or your mother or your father or both is from America of Negrito ancestry. You are Filipino if you are part Japanese, even though your father was the fruit of betrayal, less than human they called him, and your grandmother killed herself after a lifetime as the local loca, since the execution of her soldier invader lover. Unless you are from Hawaii, where your grandfather joined your grandmother against the white plantation owners. Some say that's what the wars were always about anyway. You are Filipino if you are half Mexican, half flip, that West Coast Catholic mix, like the Irish Italians back East. My friend Tony's folks are both Mexicanos, met and married in Oxnard. Tony always says he has two reasons to boycott grapes. You are Filipino if you know that history docked on our islands long before any pale giant's boats ever got close and history docked there and made home there ever since. Yes, if you know that, and if you know that history has been leaving ever since, looking for the next boom town in Papua New Guinea, Saudi Arabia, Hong Kong, Montreal, Hilo, maybe even Ho Chi Minh City or Los Angeles to dock there and stay wondering about those islands that once had no name. You are Filipino if you have left and never made it back and you think you will die with only a child's memory of how the air smells the first day after the typhoon has passed and in a week the mud will still squeeze between your toes red but smooth and heavy like the Duncan Hines frosting for $1.39 at the Korean store down the block from the Rampart Police Station in P-Town. Thank you. <laughs>